The name of our series today was if you don't track it, you can't manage it. So I know this is a cliche that you've heard several times at work and in industry, but it really is true. So if we want to be able to manage something, whether that's the a specific process, your results of the process or the results of the department down to how engaged and how effective your employees are, then you have to put some metrics on those employees in order to manage their progress. Um, if you build them on, build them up and coach them and keep training them, people are going to want to stay because they feel like they're a part of a family, part of the organization, and that's going to when it, though your employees are going to want to stay at your organization and become successful along with the company. Yes, so if you're just tracking um, and metrics regarding the business or your quality management system in general and not tracking performance of your employees, that aspect of your um, importance of your employees and how much they add and contribute to your organization may get missed. So that's why we want to also it adds to uh, making your your employee feel like they belong. They have you know skin in the game. They feel like they're contributing to the organization. And if they have they feel like that, then they're going to be more apt to stay. So some of these metrics then uh, we start off with like quality of work metrics. Um, you could track, you know, percent of good product that they produce or um, percent of product that they have to have reworked or maybe the percent of product that was returned. Um, even if you just focus on maybe down to the department and maybe just a one or two um, personal employee metrics, that would help out tremendously. If you're ISO 9001 certified or IATF 16949 or any kind of quality management certification, within those requirements and those standards, um, there are requirements for uh, making sure your employees are trained. Um, there's employees or requirements for awareness, making sure that your employees are aware of their contribution to the quality management system, which leads back to I'm having their own quality metrics for each employee and for employees or productivity goals. So when we say quality core tools, um, there's five quality core tools that make up what we call the building blocks for an effective quality management system. So those being FEMA, failure modes and effects analysis, measurement system analysis, which is MSA, SPC, which is statistical process control, production part approval process, which is PPAP and APQP, which is Advanced Product Quality Planning. So of those five quality core tools, um, probably the one on statistical process control. So this is where you're trying to eliminate variation in your processes. So by doing that, um, if your employee understands those statistical concepts and what they can do that affects, you know, dimensions and your measurement system and the variation in your process, then that's, first of all, you're going to reduce scrap. Second of all, your employee is going to be more knowledgeable and they're going to feel like they're more engaged with the organization.